Hey everyone, I'm Megan Remblack and welcome to my channel, Meg Rem Softball. In this video, I'm gonna break down how to properly slide into a bag. So let's start with what our body is gonna be doing while we're actually sliding. So this is all um, preference, but you're either gonna have your left leg tucked or you're gonna have your right leg tucked. For me personally, I just like my left leg tucked, so that's how I'm gonna demonstrate it. Your, so my left leg is tucked, it's gonna be tucked under my right leg. As I'm sliding, my right leg is gonna be more up in the air. And the reason I want it up in the air, I don't wanna go into a bag with my, like my toes down or my foot down because I don't wanna get my, my cleat stuck into the dirt. I wanna have a clear sliding path all the way into the bag. So as I'm going in, left leg's tucked under my right leg. Now let's talk about where we are um, in our body. So as I'm sliding into a bag, I wanna be more, so for me, because my left leg is tucked under, I wanna be more on my left, like the left side of my butt. Um, I don't wanna go in with two, like sitting pretty much straight up in a chair, honestly, just because it's gonna hurt. Uh, it's a little bit smoother to go in a little bit more uh, on the side of your butt. So. For me, I'm on the left side, I'll be leaning just a little bit. My right leg is up, my left leg is tucked, what my hands are doing. So, for me, my right hand is always up in the air. I do want my left hand to be up. Um, there are gonna be times that it might drag on the ground just because my momentum is going fast. I might be a little bit uh, too much on my left side. Just try not to go down so much with your left hand if you're sliding with your left foot tucked under. So you don't want to break your wrist. So as you're going in, you want to do your best, keep both hands up in the air uh, and lean in just a little bit to the side and your foot is up so it doesn't get stuck in the dirt. So now let's talk about when you want to slide. So you don't want to get, you know, two steps from the bag and start your slide because you're going to go very hard into the bag. You'll probably break an ankle. You're going to get hurt. So you want to make sure that when you take off to get in your sliding motion, you're probably, I always say, I take five or four to five big steps and that's where I wanna take off. So for me, I'm about right here, okay? Because as we slide, we want our momentum going out. We don't wanna take off, go up and land. We wanna be sprinting very, very hard to the bag as we slide or gliding right into that bag. So you're about four or five big steps away from the bag when you start your motion. So as you are starting your slide into second base, obviously you're gonna be running from wherever you are. I would hope that you're not running straight up and down. So because when we normally run, we're in our legs, our head is down, uh, we're a little bit lower, you wanna take off from that stance. You don't wanna run, 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 stand up and slide because that's when you're gonna fall right um, on your butt and it's gonna really hurt and you won't get very far. So you wanna make sure, and kind of like I said earlier, you wanna go out. So you always wanna be low as you're running. You're gonna take off where you are um, in that running stance and get in that slide instead of coming up. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you a couple progression drills that you can do. Um, as, when I was learning to slide when I was like nine, uh, my coaches, we just did a slip and slide, which I think is a really fun, easy way to get girls engaged, um, but to also get it to where it's not so scary. Um, but if you don't have a slip and slide or if it's the winter time, I'm gonna just show you a couple of progression drills that you can do to where you're not just telling them to take, take off and slide. Cause it is, I mean, if you've never done it before, it is a little bit intimidating, a little bit scary. Um, so these drills will help ease into that. Okay, so for these progression drills, I actually just took my shoes off just to make it a lot simpler. That way I can glide a little bit better. Um, if you have girls who've never slid before, Sometimes just less intimidating. Uh, if you have your socks on, they won't get their foot stuck in the dirt and the grass wherever you're doing your sliding. So, how we're gonna start. Um, so like I said earlier in the video, when you slide, you wanna go out and not up. So you're gonna start, because I go down with my left leg, I'm gonna start with my left leg out. And I'm gonna be in that runner stance because again, I wanna be going out and not up. So I'm gonna start here. I'm gonna be pushing off with my right leg, going out. Once I push out with this right leg, I'm going right into my sliding uh, position. So I'm here, 
and I'm pushing off with my right leg, going down. So notice where my right leg is, it's up. Um, I'm a little bit more on the left side of my butt and I've got both hands up. So this again, like I said earlier, your left hand, if you're, if you're uh, sliding with your left foot down, it might graze the floor a little bit. Um, just make sure, do your best to keep them up. Okay, so you have that. Once you get comfortable, instead of one step, you'll go ahead and take two. So you'll go right, left, slide, or um, left, right, slide, depending on what foot you slide on. So for me, I'm, I go down with my left foot, so I got my left foot out, I'm going right, left, slide, okay? Do that a couple times. Once you get very comfortable, just have them go all the way back and take off. So once the girls start to get very comfortable with that regular slide, go ahead and start working on the pop-up slide. So the pop-up slide is very important. If you're on the bag, there's a bad throw, you have to get up quick to advance to that next bag. You don't wanna just hang out, slide, and be like, okay, I gotta get up. You wanna be able to slide as you are sliding into the bag popping up to get ready to go to the next bag. So in order to do that, it's the same exact slide. Nothing changes except once you are right at the bag, as you are going in, you're gonna be pushing up with your left leg pretty much. So for me again, I'm sliding on my left leg. I'm pushing up with my left leg to get my momentum up and then out because I'm going to the next bag. So just work on normal slides, that progression. Then once you go all the way back, do it full speed. Have the girls go in to where when they slide, right when they get to the bag, they're popping up and going to the next bag.